hello. Um, so I'm performing a, um, a, a poem as well as a song. I mean, I'm calling it a poem. It, I'd like to say spoken word, but I don't feel like I'm cool enough to call it spoken word, so I'm just saying poem. Um, from, <laughs> from a show called, um, called Gangly Black Banshee, which, <laughs> which is about um, a young guy who's struggling to find love because of um, how uh, rare monogamy is amongst, his, amongst my generation, basically. Okay, so here's the poem. When I was younger, I had a ferret. We had to convince my parents with a PowerPoint and everything. My friend had one called Spike, and it so happened he was selling him. We begged until my parents said, he'll be your responsibility. And we took him home, put him in his cage where he slept so peacefully. My mum put her hand in to stroke him, and he bit her down to the bone. <laughs> Not the best way to endear himself to his new family, new home. From then on, we were terrified. We wore garden gloves to hold him. But it turned out he bit through those. They were far too thin. <laughs> we lived in fear of our new pet. We just kept him alive. Fed him raw mints and ran away. <laughs> waiting for him to die. <laughs> Summer 2006. We found him in his cage. His food hadn't been eaten for at least two days. He died, unloved and alone. Twelve-year-old me staring. That's not how I want to go. With nobody caring. That's it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. You put your number in to my phone and say hey let's hang out just the two of us alone and i smile then i text but then i get depressed because you go stead me Text again, thinking maybe you forgot, and I recall our conversation. You seemed so funny, sweet, and hot, but now I am aware that you really don't care. Cause you go stared me, and it's whole. It's difficult when you're not an Aryan twink It's not often I get interest So it makes me overthink Can you exorcise me? It's possessing me That you go My message was a little OTT. I said I like you and I hope that you like me. And I know that we've just met and it might seem quite intense, but there's two tiny blue ticks and so I know that it's been read. Why am I not more carefree? Don't give a fuck and be set free instead of crying over fuck boys like some so I'll keep waiting for you to reply Modern dating makes me want to die If I were straight, maybe I'd be alright But no, no
many times before I learn my skin so thin because I have constantly been burned and it's haunting me that you go stead me and I hope someday you'll see that it's not cool or trendy